Good morning, viewers. It's a new day. Welcome to today's devotion with the Daily Fountain, the devotional guide of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion. Invite your family and friends. Get your Bible and your Daily Fountain manual while our devotional leader takes us on today's devotion. Good morning, dear listeners. You are welcome to the Daily Devotional of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion. It is another beautiful Sunday, the 14th day of April 2024. You are welcome. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for the opportunity we have to meet with you at this hour. We pray, O oh Lord, that your presence will fill the homes of everyone and that the Holy Spirit will speak to our hearts that the word that we are going to hear will continually be a guide, be a light, be a lamp on our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Today, the topic that we have is the shepherd. And the text is from Psalm 23, verses 1 to 6. Psalm 23 is perhaps the most known psalm in the Bible. Several people could recite it of head. It is a psalm of David and it is a psalm of a shepherd. David, the author of Psalm 23, was a shepherd. And using the relationship between the sheep and the shepherd, he described the love compassion, and care that God holds. Let us see how he puts it. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. We see that David brought to fall the life of a shepherd and his sheep. It describes that love, compassion, and care that God holds for every of his children using the shepherd-sheep analogy. In the early morning, the shepherd led the flock from the fold to the spot where they were to be pastured. The shepherd knows the spot where the sheep were to be pastured, and the shepherd leads the sheep, leading them from the fold. He takes them into the green pastures. The shepherd watched over his sheep 
to make sure that they were not endangered. The shepherd is the chief security officer for the sheep. He ensures that they were not endangered in any way. The sheep do not care. It is not part of their own activities to do. They trust the shepherd for protection. Sheep required to be supplied regularly with water. And the shepherd for this purpose has to guide them either to a running stream or a dog well. The sheep will need water. In which case, those things that the sheep require, the shepherd ensures that adequate provision is made. At night, he will bring back the flock to the fold. He will count and make sure that they were complete. He also protects the fold from wild animals and thieves. So we see the shepherd providing for the sheep during the day, provides nourishment, cares for them, ensures that they are safe, their safety is in his hands. At night time, he ensures that they have a fold that they can retire to. He ensures that the place is secured against the dangers of the night. He protects the fold from wild animals as well as from thieves. David, having risen to the position of the king of Israel, David was so certain that God watches over his own. The ability and the willingness of God to provide for, to restore, to lead, to deliver and bless his people is not in doubt as the Bible is replete with evidence. The words that are used there in Psalm 23, God is there to lead. God is there to provide. God is there to keep watch over us. God is there to restore when we go astray. God is there to deliver as well as to bless his people. We must trust God in every circumstance to perform his desired role of his shepherd over us. The Almighty God is also our shepherd, as many as are his children. He is our shepherd. We are his sheep. We must trust him to be able to provide for our nourishment. We must trust him to provide water. And the water that God provides is the living water that Jesus says, whoever takes it will never thirst. The living water of life. The daily fountain that you receive is the living water that God gives to his children. So, the psalmist is asking us and encouraging us to trust in God as our shepherd because he will perform his role as a shepherd over us. Above all, we must have God as our father and master because the direct responsibility of the shepherd is to his flock and not flock from another fold. God takes responsibility over us as his flock. His responsibility is not over another fold. The question that comes to us this morning, are you a member of, the, of God's flock? 
on earth? Do you really belong to him? Jesus says, my sheep hear my voice. The voice of a stranger they will not follow. Do you belong to the sheep of God? Have you given your life to Jesus? Have you received him as Lord and Savior? The moment you do that, you become part of God's sheep. And you come under God's shepherdhood. And that is a great privilege when you become the sheep under God as a shepherd. Are you a member of God's flock? The opportunity to be a member is open to all. As many as call upon him, he will not cast away. Are you saying today, Lord, I want to be your sheep? If that is yes, trust him because he will take you. He will not cast you away. Our God is a loving God. Anyone who calls upon him shall be saved. If you call upon him today, you receive the gift of salvation. If you call upon him at this moment, you receive that gift of salvation. Dear friends, if you are not sure you are the sheep of the Lord, today is indeed your day. Today is a day of salvation. Why don't you ask the Lord? Take me as your son. Make me your sheep. And God will answer you. Why not pray this prayer? Heavenly Father, I resign to you. Have your way in my life. In Jesus' name. Amen. If you have prayed that prayer, I assure you that the heavens are rejoicing. They are rejoicing because of another sheep that has come to the sheepfold of our God. Let us pray. Father, we thank you because you are our good shepherd. And you provide for our needs. Today, O oh Lord, that we have heard your voice, we ask that everyone that has come to your sheepfold, that for no reason shall we leave this sheepfold, but will continue to abide in that vine. And we know you, our shepherd, you will provide all that we need. Thank you, Father Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Thank you, viewers. God bless you. We thank you for fellowshipping with us today. We invite you to join us tomorrow morning, same time, same station, for another special edition of The Daily Fountain. If you are led to sponsor or support this program, please contact the numbers and email all showing on your screen. Also, Subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash ACNNTV. Visit our website www.acnntv.com.